what's up you guys we're here with our new pickup uh well new to us this is a 2005 chevy silverado it has a long travel suspension up front also in the rear uh, well let's start off right here in the front lower control arms are aftermarket upper control arms are aftermarket as well as the king setup bump stops and all that so we don't really know about the inches of travel and all that we just know that this shit i guess could travel a lot suspension wise see the knuckles right there tie rods beefy tie rods the rack and pinion looks like it's leaking so we're gonna have to fix that it has this uh custom tubular bumper with the little led bar which it does work but uh we're gonna remove it also the grill was cut because this light bar is straight so it came in contact with that grill and i guess it's not shit for that but we want to replace this well some of the plans is to replace this grill and the hood for the hd stuff uh also cut off these tabs on the cross thing it had like that little like skirt thing or whatever you call those uh, fiberglass fenders i don't know exactly what brand can't tell but i don't know what brand it has these fiberglass front fenders it's on 37 by 12 and a half tires on 17 inch wheels race line wheels simulated b locks these aren't real b locks but they still look pretty good on this truck six lugs um we already started working on the truck and we're recording the process of that uh, i'll show you why in a bit but this is a base model truck it's a 4.8 with the 4l60 manual windows uh, 102 thousand miles it has this little chinese i believe it's chinese switch panel and it has this right here i don't know what it's for but this is gonna come off it has a double din ac is not fully functioning right now it's only coming out through the vent through the uh defroster up here in the front uh the seats are in pretty good condition well this is the uh the switch assembly for that controller right there it's like a switch pro type of thing and then pop it there so the door panels are pretty complete we are planning on making them power windows and then it has these fiberglass bedsides from i guess it's the same brand for the front it has a sticker right there but you can't really read it uh same wheels in the front i mean in the back so this is the bed setup king shocks with lever um leaf springs some of the welds aren't all that great but i mean the whole it's not a professional truck but it's in decent condition so this i think we're gonna rotate it a little bit maybe tuck it away kind of don't like how it looks right there this is part of the battery bracket which is welded right there we're working on that I'll show you guys in a bit why it has a fuel cell I don't know exactly how many gallons but we are gonna try to fill it up one of these days hopefully we don't run out of gas soon uh, some of these wires we're gonna reorganize and put um, zip ties on them or you know route them neater that jack might come off kind of don't like how it looks right there we're also gonna sand this down a bit and spray it we are planning on redoing these maybe not soon but we kind of don't like how this is a super thick tube maybe put a thinner tube solid piece of steel and then you know we do this and this has a two tire setup like this which is too much i think it sticks out way too much so what we're planning on doing is turning these and standing them up and hopefully cutting this or making it shorter because it sticks out like about three feet two feet it has a tow hitch which i don't even know how you could get maybe a super low uh tow hook and i mean tow hitch mount your trailer onto that this is gonna get cleaned up 
these wires are gonna get cleaned up as well this for i believe is this license plate light and i don't know if you guys can see that can't really read it so this is the passenger side same thing as the driver that's the exhaust that was on this truck, but we're gonna do a different one, probably like a boiler or something. These are way too loud. This was on our Toyota Tacoma with the LS. This doesn't even have the carpet. It's just the plastic thing, but it's cool because since it's an off-road truck, you could just wash it down, hose it down or whatever. So now I'm gonna show you guys the engine bay. Oh, we also wanna get these color matched. So with the caps and the handles to make it look a little nicer we were having an issue with the charging system well the alternator is good because we drove it just off the alternator but the battery wasn't holding charge and this is on the video that you guys are going to see next we already started recording but this is what they did with the power you can see how it was heating up so we're doing all that also that uh switch thing for the switch panel the relay stuff it was mounted right here so we're gonna relocate that or probably mount it differently but you can see that it has a hoop across has a K&N filter and it has a transmission cooler right here which is gonna get relocated possibly up here more center and reroute the lines neater maybe put that sideways and toss the lines differently because they just ran them right here and then they ran up there over the engine which I don't know why they would do that, but we're gonna redo those uh, transmission lines. And I think that's it. We wanna paint the front bumper as well. We're gonna work on the grounds and the positive cable. We're gonna do zero gauge and put some nice copper lugs on that. So little by little, we're gonna start working on this truck. Hopefully get it running soon. We are going to be running a excess power battery. They have been holding up really good on the Trailblazer, on the Silverado that we have, and on our Toyota pickup. So we're going to toss one of those in here. The alternator, I believe it's new, so it, should, it shouldn't give us any problems, hopefully. Flush the brake lines. We also have to redo the brakes because the rotors are squeaking in front or the brake pads or whatever. So we want to do... All four rotors and brake pads getting redone. Yeah, yeah. So little by little, you're gonna see more and more videos of this truck. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at Yonke underscore OXC Films. I'll leave that in the description down below, and we'll catch you in the next one.